got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factory and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. Tanks, but no tanks. Hmm. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Five 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 one three nine four. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? <coughs> Your mother must be so proud. Five 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 one three nine four five Hello, Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. 
because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. You know, some people say life is like an empty vending machine. You put in your quarter and all you get is a whole lot of nothing. Gee, you're in a depressing mood today, aren't you? <laughs> Monkey Penny, do you think my white tuxedo is too formal for grief? Bye, Fox. Don't you have better things to do than hang around here and stare at your reflection in the monitors? That's not going to do me any good. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. The door's locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. Looks like it's closed. The door's locked. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. Here's where I keep my spot. toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. <coughs> now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranha. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, 
Mmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Oh! You saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. So when William the Kid Suggs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. That's the X-ray gum. Here's where I keep my... Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. 
this isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh... Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. I found the note. All right, now I need to find out where that punch card is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. got to look for that punch card. William the Kid must be stopped. If I could find that punch card, then I'd be making some progress. His ticker looks like it needs winding. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Without that punch card, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. It looks like I need to find that punch card. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, O oh, honorable visitor, to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. Aren't those conical, brimless hats called fezzes? If you say so. I've always thought of them as those funny-looking hats worn by old gentlemen driving those small cars in parades. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those were actual pennants weighed by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. I can't get in there until someone unlocks the door. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, Bee. So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Beat Bliss. It smells funny. Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. 
Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. What's the story with the gravity-challenged card player over there? Oh, honey, watch out for him. That's Mr. Big Pig, the local mud baron. He's a notorious go-fish player. The only thing he ever loses is his temper. Chicken knuckles to go. Those look interesting. Honey, they're so bad. We're required by law to serve them to go. After you eat some, you have to go. If you know what I mean. Tell me about today's special, B. We feature ham boogers on Fridays. Ham boogers? What is that? Some sort of congealed pig sauce? It looks like sauce, but it's not. Quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. shaped container, Professor Quack. This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the Spy Putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. <laughs> yes, and it has excellent arch support. That's the night vision shoe. Mm. 
Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. That's the cheese and safe cracker. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. I can only carry four spy gadgets at a time. I guess I can put one of mine back. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Interesting. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes, my Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Would you care to play some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started.
So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Got any fours? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any fives? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any threes? Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any fours? Got any aces? Hmm. Got any tens? Got any queens? Got any jacks? Got any fours? Nope. Go fish. Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Tell me about the weasel over at the SS Deadweight. You tread on dangerous ground, little fox. That's Spy Fox. I recommend steering clear of those Nectar of the Goats gatherings. The guest list is exclusive for a good reason. Hmm, I suspect that my arch nemesis, William the Kid, must be involved. Got any sixes? <laughs> Go fish. Got any seven? Go fish. Got any nines? A card. Thank you so much. Got any threes? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any aces? I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. And that makes a set, sir. Got any sixes? Go fish, sir. Got any queens? Go fish. Got any eight? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any fives? Go fish. Got any twos? Go fish, sir. Got any kings? Nope. Go fish. Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any eights? Got any sevens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any jacks? That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any nines? No, sir. Go fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to Go Fish. I love this game. Got any threes? <laughs> go Fish. Got any kings? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any tens? I'll just take those off your hands. This suits me just fine.
Got any twos? What a fun game this is. Got any sixes? No fish, sir. Got any aces? Nope. Go fish. Got any kings? Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Got any queens? I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any sevens? Go fish. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any sixes? Got any fives? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any eights? Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Got any sixes? Go fish. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any fives? Got any kings? No, sir. Go fish. Got any aces? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any sixes? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Got any kings? Got any sevens? Got any kings? Nope. Go fish. Got any fives? Go fish, sir. Got any eights? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any threes? Gads, <laughs> I'm good. Got any kings? A match made in heaven, sir. Got any sevens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any eights? This suits me just fine. Got any fives? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any aces? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Got any sevens? Ah, yes. Another one for me, sir. I win. Would you like to play a game, Mr. Fox? If so, place your trinket on the table. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Any news? Nothing to report yet. This island sure has a lot of lively characters on it. Everyone's so animated. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, by the way, our informant, Mata Harry, suggested that you try to get on the ship. It might be important. Piranha! I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary feta factory. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information.
You know, I do have a license to drill. I'd hate to see your little yacht's hull develop a bad case of Swiss cheese and sink into the harbor. If you are going to resort to threats, sir, then maybe you should make like a tree and leave. This is no ordinary coin, is it? No, that's the spy trap. You toss it on the ground, and it will trap three or more bad guys. If you want to capture some creeps, the spy trap is a coin that makes a lot of sense. Getting paper cuts on your tongue is the worst. What handsome cufflinks. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, <laughs> that was a tasty one. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. Those are the suction cufflinks. That's not going to do me any good. It's Happy Fun Sub. A little break from the spy biz might do me some good. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. That's not going to do me any good. 
That's not going to do me any good. It says deck party, invitation only. Sounds like a swank affair to me. So, where does a fox get one of these swank invitations? Anybody who is somebody on the island of Acidophilus was already invited. If you weren't invited, sir, then I'm afraid you must be a nobody. Anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? Here's where my notes go. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the dock. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me so maybe I can do something to distract him. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No, I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to remember. Trinket is a Middle English word which means small shoemaker's knife. I hope that clears it up for you, sir. A ship's wheel like this is a very unique belly button antique. Belly button? Oh, I mean navel. Even the stuffing of this teddy bear is of the finest quality. You know, stuffing is a delicious alternative to potatoes. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. Not you again? How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A nerve of something. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. 
Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is the tango. I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. Pardon me, do you have the time? Certainly, sir. It's a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where I... The people here must really love the tango. Yeah, they do, crazy fox guy. Though they keep yelling, play something else, play something else. But hey, the tango is all I got. For a spy on the go, I recommend the chicken knuckles. It's your funeral, honey. It says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Beat bliss. It smells funny. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before.
Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Ah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Encore! Encore! <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Nothing, just looking. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. why she likes the tango so much. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. What are her hobbies? Of course, there's always the tango, her passion in life. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by New Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation, owner and operator of the SS Deadweight, head of public relations for NOG, close associate of William the Kid, and one bad kitty. Known felonies? Indecent tangoing. Acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango? Acquitted. J tangoing. Acquitted. Tangoing out of season? Acquitted. Comment. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. You need Russian Blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in.
thought that would get him to change his tune. I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. I need to distract Russian Blue, so she'll set her purse down first. It's amazing what a difference a little sheet music can make. Tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. I'd better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh no, my cover has been compromised. Mayday, mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? Sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. The banana gets peeled at midnight. And the grapes are squished in the morning. Hello, Agent Fox. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The happy skinny girl. What a curious phrase. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's true, I do. All right, I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta-ta. Thanks, Mata. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. The Happy Skinny Girl. The Happy Skinny Girl. Please stand by. Hey, Agent Fox. 
That was a good job of getting Walter in Russian Blue's purse. How's his signal coming in? Crystal clear. You'd better go pick up the Osti Spumoni in the town square and follow them. Mobile command. I can't get in there until someone unlocks. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. This was probably a nice place, until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. This symbol stands for happy. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. I don't have to roll over and play dead to know that this symbol means dog. Well, that didn't work. This hieroglyphic reminds me of the smell of feta cheese. It's strong. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Corps computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. The Happy Skinny Girl. The Happy Skinny Girl. Happy. It will be easy to get the skinny on this hieroglyphic. It means skinny. This symbol means girl. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore.
curious. Could there really be a plumbing problem in Kid's Fortress? Maybe the water isn't too deep. Ah! Voracious snapping turtles! With a taste for fox, I wager. I think I'd better think of a way across that'll keep me from being turtle food. Here's where I... These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. my suction cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. It's a secret passageway. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Hmm, American Gothic. This seems to be some sort of multicolored lock mechanism. This is the last place in the world I expected to see an original Van Gogh painting. Not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. Where? A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Letting me through. It looks like the eyes have it, at least when it comes to security. Uh oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide.
So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your Imperial goat me. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. <coughs> this looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. I've been itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. Jackpot! This diagram's the pattern I need to follow on that control panel in the other room. Now I can get those conveyor belts moving in the right direction. I guess every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. It looks like a billboard. Kid's interior decorator should be fired for putting this billboard here. Hot butter, there's Kid's giant milk carton. Here's where I keep... There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. This must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now, can I get the location of that punch card?
It says yellow. Somehow, I don't think William the Kid was thinking of the chalk when he wrote that. It says red. It says green. It says yellow. I don't want to disturb any possible clues. I'll leave this paper here. It would be silly not to snoop around kids' office. I'll come back here later. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not coming out. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not coming out. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Please stand by. Spy Fox, thanks for checking in. How's it going? Never better, Monkey Penny. I'm just trying to figure out how to disarm that sinister milky weapon of destruction. Mr. Utterly mentioned something about needing a missing piece to disarm it. If I can find out more, I'll let you know. Mobile Command Center. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the Milky Weapon of Destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great. Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the Milky Weapon of Destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. I need to get that punch card in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's Milky Weapon of Destruction. No need to keep this uniform on. I'd better leave this door unlocked, in case I need to get back in here later. So, what do you suggest from the menu? Last time I suggested something, I got sued for malpractice. So my attorney advised me not to make any more suggestions.
You know, if you don't stop this deranged William the Kid, I'm gonna be out of a job. Do you know if they have an unemployment office on this island? Don't worry, Mr. Utterly. A big steer with your experience can easily make some money on this island. What with the price of beef these days. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Ray Gum. Fashion Nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. to be caught out of uniform, but then again, I hate to be caught in general. This is such an obvious fake. Who does kid think he's kidding? Now that's a button of a different color. Aha! A secret wall safe. What an original hiding place. This cheese and safe cracker chip should do the trick. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. One more to go. I am in! Sometimes I amaze even myself. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need?
I'd better close the safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. Here's where I... Oh, Mr. Utterly, guess what I need to do again. Okay, okay, but do me a favor. Could you get me a pillow? The fanning is rough on the flank steak. I wonder if Mr. Utterly has to take four antacid tablets when his stomachs are upset. and I have always had a very open relationship. This one might be the one I'm looking for. Nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. I hope this is the right punch card. Again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Please stand by. Bye, Fox. 
That was a fantastic job of disarming the milky weapon of destruction. Have you found Kid yet? No, but don't worry. All I have to do is find that secret door he ducked into. You go get that mad goat, Spy Fox. Mobile Command Center. I've made an informed decision to take this uniform off. Usually, I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes, but sometimes you have to walk on the wild side. I better put this disguise back on. I hate to be caught out of uniform, but then again, I hate to be caught in general. This uniform is a fashion nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. I've got to find that secret passageway Kid came out of if I expect to save the cows.
That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. Those empty to-go containers look strangely familiar. That's not going to do me any good. This should be easy. Uh-oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm fake. All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I hereby declare you free-range cows. But you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> 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 Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Yeah, yeah. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 6 degrees north, 26 degrees east. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's Blimp. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. There's nothing to hold on to. If I want to get to the other side of the blimp, it looks like I'll need to find another way.
Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. That's not going to do me any good. That looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. There's got to be a way to get over there. be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into Evil Villain Jail. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. My trap is set. I'd better hurry. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? There was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan. He didn't work for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox! You pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Later that day, Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress.
for outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos, and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox.